a fantastic perception and approach. What resources would you recommend to patients outside of their oncologist's office that were useful to you? Oh, wow. Um, you know, I spoke to a nutritionist. Um, they have a nutritionist at MD Anderson, which I also I found helpful, but I also um, had an opportunity to interview with two other nutritionists that all gave me similar but different perspectives on things that I could do changing my diet and, and me being able to take that information and see what I could tolerate from a change perspective. Um, so that was one thing and I think that helped with my, uh, some of the side effects that I had mostly had to do with my um, GI tract and that was a bigger piece for me. So changing and reading up on the symptoms that I was having or side effects that I was having and different nutritional things that I could incorporate to adjust those things helped me significantly. Um, so I, I spoke to a nutritionist, that's one. Um, second, I sought out um, acupuncture, which is um, a little outside the box, but you and I had talked about, is that something that I could tolerate? And um, I think it has helped me sort of manage the overall uh, fatigue, which has been another large impact on me when I get these, when I, every time I get the treatment. Um, and it has also helped with some other things. I've had um, some loss of muscle tone um, and some back pain and things like that. And I find that the acupuncture has helped with that, with headaches that would come on while I was adjusting to the medication. And I tried to also incorporate my diet to help with my headaches and things like that. And then I've also, um, incorporated a physical therapist to help me to maintain my muscle tone because you are tired and you can't do as much, but being able to continue to use your body, um, even though it's hard, um, I think has made a tremendous impact on how I rebound after the sort of the cycle of the, the drug goes through, it helps me rebound a lot. So I've incorporated sort of the, those things and then the, uh, there's a resource at MD Anderson, the Integrated Medicine Center, where they have meditation courses and things like that that you can go and sit and participate in. And those are very helpful. Um, I, the one that I attended that was very impactful to me was everyone shared their stories at the end. It was a writing meditation. And to be able to sort of be in that experience around people that have not your same journey, but a journey. Um, some are successful, some are harder than others. And to be able to, to be in that setting with everyone and talk about it and clear your head and, and, and get comfort from each other, that was also very, very helpful. Um, so yeah, I, I did sort of kind of go outside of the box of medicine per se to find these other things that I could help with my treatment and manage my side effects. And I applaud that. And I think the other thing that was critical about how you did this is you kept me informed the whole time. So again, I learned through your experience. So I think there is sometimes a perception that as oncologists, we're so focused on um, side effect management such as nausea, risk of infection, constipation, numbness and tingling, that we don't always encompass some of these in integrative approaches. But I think you did a fantastic job of doing some of the research yourself, using the resources available to you at Anderson, but attacking some of these symptoms that are also very common, like fatigue, headaches, mm -hmm. muscle loss, that I think you did a very good approach, even better than what I could have guided you with. 